Livewire S2 Alpinista. Harley-Davidson once again proves the versatility of the S2 Aero platform by releasing an all-new model on its basis. This time it's the Alpinista. Representative of the sports standard class that could be described as a mixture of supermoto and touring elements, and with an electric heart too. The model sits on 17-inch wheels with Dunlop RoadSmart 4 tires, offers a 31.2-inch seat height, and tips the scales at 434 pounds. To ensure the best performance in urban environments, the Alpinista has five ride modes, cornering enhanced ABS, a drag torque slip control system, and an advanced traction control. The power comes from a 63 kilowatt motor with a torque parameter measured at 194 pound-feet and 99 mile per hour top speed. A 10 and a half kilowatt hour battery lasts between 71 and 120 miles and needs 142 minutes to be fully recharged at the L2 station. Stark Future Varg EX. The Spanish manufacturer of the fastest electric motocross bike has announced a new model that will boost sales for the company and, most importantly, unlock the brand's famous performance to a larger share of riders. Unlike the Stark's original creation, the Varg EX is fully road legal and available for riders with an A1 license. With a weight of 264 pounds, the EX bike sports a high-strength frame carbon fiber elements in the subframe and a 7.2 kilowatt hour battery pack embedded inside it. The battery has a quick discharge speed, enabling the motor output of 60 kilowatts, while the wheel torque parameters reaches 764 pound-feet. The bike setup includes Brembo brakes, 21-inch front and 18-inch rear enduro tires, an advanced suspension setup with 310 millimeters of travel in the rear and a robust skid plate to protect the vital internals. Ultraviolet F77 and F99 Products developed by Indian EV startups have long been regarded as a forbidden fruit for international customers. Usually good-looking, technologically advanced, and most importantly affordable, Indian e-bikes are exclusively sold on the domestic market. However, Ultraviolet is the first brand that wants to change that. The company is acquiring sales authorization for the European and international markets. With over 40 countries on the list, Ultraviolet F77 goes international with a sporty Street Fighter-like design. An aggressive stance, multi-spoke rims with contrasting paint stripes, three distinct color schemes, and an approval for A1 and A2 license holders. Underneath the substantial side fairings hides a 30 kilowatt strong electric motor and a 10.3 kilowatt hour battery pack. With a 73 pound feet torque parameter, the F77 ensures a swift 0 to 60 acceleration time of 2.8 seconds, while the speed maxes out at 95 miles per hour. The bike can last up to 200 miles between charging stops, has a 5 inch TFT display, a three-level regeneration braking system, a hill hold assist, tire pressure monitoring, and a smart personal assistant called the Violet. Finally, the brand wants to gain international approval by pushing EV boundaries. They developed an overpowered ultraviolet F99 bike to complete a quarter-mile run at the Valley Run. It features a lightweight exoskeleton frame, a 90-kilowatt motor, and only a 400-pound weight. As a result, a 62 mile per hour speed is reached in under three seconds, while the 125 mile per hour mark comes in under 10 seconds. Dustmoto Hightail Dustmoto is a young American electric motorcycle brand that, despite its age, likes to dream big and sets an ambitious goal of becoming the most recognized American dirt bike maker on an international scale. The company's first product is called the Hightail. It's a battery electric dirt bike with performance-oriented geometry, an aluminum swing arm, 
an adjustable closed cartridge suspension, 21-inch front and 18-inch rear heavy-duty wheels, and powerful brakes with 260mm front and 220mm rear discs. The company's engineers claim 485 pound-feet of torque, which is more than an average 250cc dirt bike, while retaining its weight below 220 pounds. Besides having obscene torque capabilities, the bike's motor can produce 32 kilowatts of output and grant a 75 mile per hour speed. The 4.4 kilowatt hour hot swappable battery is good for up to 40 miles of continuous riding at 25 miles per hour. It can be recharged in about four hours. Insorc EM77. Asian companies are ramping up their electrification capabilities and the latest Milan Motor Show was a perfect display of their ambitions. The EM77 is an upcoming cafe racer bike with 125cc-like performance and the support of level 2 charging that significantly lowered the recharging times. With a peak charging speed of 3.3 kilowatts, the bike could top up to a 144 volt 73 amp hour battery in about 3 hours. This battery is hooked up to a liquid-cooled mid-mounted motor with a belt drive. With an output rated at 10.5 kilowatts, this motor can bring 89 mile per hour speeds. The initial acceleration to 30 miles per hour comes in 2.8 seconds, while the overall riding range is estimated at 120 miles. The manufacturer tested this range figure at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. Easy Hypercruise Although the new Easy Hypercruise has unacceptable specifications for traditional cruise bike riders, this product may be better labeled as a cruiser-style model, suitable for proponents of the laid-back riding position. The powertrain comprises a mid-mounted 5.5 kilowatt motor and a dual 72-volt, 35-amp-hour battery pack. This setup yields a 12-kilowatt peak output, a 90-mile maximum range, a 60-mile-per-hour top speed, and 25 degree hill climbing capabilities. With the standard setup, the Easy model weighs 230 pounds, has a seat height of 28 inches, and can carry loads upwards of 352 pounds. The equipment includes tubeless tires with ABS, LED projection headlights, a 3.6 LCD dashboard, keyless start and lock system, and advanced riding aids, including a hill hold, regenerative braking, hill descent, cruise control, and a reverse assist. Rally Wind EX1 This model made its public debut on the show floor of the latest Milan exhibition. It's a cafe racer with a retro-inspired exterior and brushed aluminum finishes. Behind the unlockable bodywork panels, hides a battery compartment that holds 72 volt 76 point amp hour modules. Labeled as an electrified alternative to the 125 cc class, the EX1 employs a 5 kilowatt rear hub motor that peaks at 8 kilowatts, thus enabling a swift acceleration to 30 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. The maximum velocity is clocked at 52 miles per hour. According to the manufacturer's estimations, this 320-pound machine could cover up to 90 miles before running out of juice. Finally, other important features include Bosch ABS, full LED lights, and a TFT information display. Onyx Racer Limited. Everything new is actually the well-forgotten old. This phrase immediately came to my mind upon learning about the market comeback that this now iconic American moped manufacturer has planned for 2025. While fighting for survival, the California-based Onyx Motors will produce a limited edition run of 100 racer mopeds. The two-wheelers are offered in two sizes, standard and shorty, both featuring a Neo retro design with a faux fuel tank a black tubular chassis, 17-inch 36-spoke wheels, and hydraulic disc brakes. 
Compared to its predecessors, the Racer Limited gets a performance boost from a rear hub motor that peaks at 15.2 kilowatts and the 55 mile per hour top speed. The improved power influx is supported by the 3.2 kilowatt hour battery pack that brings upwards of 120 miles in the lowest riding setting. Zero Neutrino Zero Motorcycles brought their completely refreshed lineup to the most recent Milan Motor Show, as well as a couple of all-new and conceptual models. While the brand shared the specifications of all production-ready bikes, the information about the Neutrino mini bike remained under wraps. Zero Neutrino previews the American manufacturer's future model that is set to compete with low-displacement models like the Honda Grom. Similar in size, the bike sports a stout build, a round headlight, a mid-drive motor of undisclosed output, and a rumored 5.9 kilowatt hour battery pack. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.